dilemma is a situation when you aren't sure what to do. There could be two or more different ways to go. Which way will be advantageous to you is challenging to find. Under such circumstances, you must keep a calm mind. If you get excited, you might end up making the wrong choice. A crisis is best resolved when one analyzes the problem with a rational temperament and tries to figure out what could be the best solution to the predicament. More often than not, the choices available to a person dealing with a dilemma are equally unpleasant. Thus, one has to find out which of the alternatives is least unpleasant. If one of the alternatives could lead to a vantage position, then the choice will be smooth. But since they all appear bad, one has to be careful while choosing. Despite what one may believe to be one's best judgment, one may pick up an alternative that leads to wrong results. However, one still has to act in one's best judgment. It would help if you kept in mind that sometimes when you expect bad results to follow, outcomes are not so bad. So, if you are forced to pick up one of many harmful alternatives, try to find the one that is likely to be the least damaging. While making a choice, generate images in your mind of the possible outcomes and imagine yourself dealing with the circumstances projected in those images. Do this exercise with each available alternative and find out which set of expected results would be the easiest for you to handle. In other words, work out which of the outcomes would be the least damaging in your mind. If you are unsure which of the alternatives would be the best for you, ask your mind to come up with an answer. Sometimes, your heart also chips in with suggestions. But make it a point to attach more importance to what your mind says. One of my colleagues had made a bona fide mistake in a professional commitment, and she was apprehensive about the consequences. The colleague I am talking about is an efficient worker. Since the workload was too much for her to handle, a mistake happened in an important letter that she sent to a sister company. When she realized she had misquoted some figures, she knew that when the professionals at the sister concern discovered that the figures given were incorrect and somewhat bloated, they might be disappointed with our firm. Their disappointment could even lead to the sister concerns breaking their ties with us. So, what could my colleague do? She was indeed in a dilemma, and none of the choices she could make appeared to be pleasant. What were the alternatives? The first choice was to issue a corrigendum. However, issuing such a letter would project our firm poorly. It could lead the sister concern to believe that our enterprise had quoted the wrong figures deliberately, and upon the sudden realization that the incorrect quotes could lead to broken ties, we have decided to make amends by issuing the corrigendum. The second alternative was to talk informally with the letter's recipients in the sister concern. However, this alternative also didn't have good consequences. The professionals at the sister concern might deem such an informal approach unprofessional, and such an interpretation was enough to lead to broken ties. The third alternative was to convene a meeting to openly accept the inadvertent error and apologize for the incorrect figures mentioned in the letter. However, my colleague couldn't convene a meeting at her level. She first needed to take her immediate boss, and even the immediate boss's boss in confidence. The very mention of the inadvertent error before her bosses could cost her the job. 
After a day full of cogitation with a calm mind, my colleague decided to go for the third alternative. She placed our firm's reputation over her career prospects. Consideration of each of the three alternatives led to a series of images. My colleague felt that the third alternative, where she would first take her bosses in confidence and then, with their help, convene a meeting with the top officers of the sister concern, would be the best choice for her. She went ahead with the third choice. The bosses were upset, but were left with little choice, but to convene a meeting with the sister concern officials. In that meeting, my colleague apologized for her mistake and clarified that our firm had nothing to do with quoting the wrong figures and that the error should be ascribed to her. The truthful approach of my colleague pleased the sister concern officials. They were pleased with her candid approach and assured our firm that the professional bond between them and us would not be affected in the least. Later, even my colleague's bosses praised her for dealing with the situation well and for placing the firm's interests before her career. Well, without a calm mind, my colleague couldn't have resolved the predicament, could she? If you ever get into a dilemma, try to fix it as my colleague did. Thank you for listening. Take care.